living snow fence is a row or a few rows of trees that are planted 30 to 60 meters back from the road to provide protection in the winter months, um, keeping snow and wind from reaching the road. The rows of trees need to be back from the road in order for the snow drifts to accumulate on the lee side of the trees and keep the road clean in the winter. Living snow fences for us provide a lot of safety for the road users. It minimizes all the uh, drifting and sifting snow hitting the road, uh, prevents high banks. If we can keep the snow back in the fields and in, in the tree lines, it, um, it allows us to do, you know, use less salts and chemicals on the road and uh, makes better visibility for drivers. The benefit of trees over regular snow fence is that regular snow fence fills very easy. The first snow event, it basically can fill up very quickly and it's only four feet high. Snow will only deposit about a, a, a one to 10 ratio, so about 40 feet, so it's a small deposit area. When the trees get higher than four feet, they slowly grow higher and higher that they hold more snow back from blowing across the road. So it, it, it holds a whole lot more snow than a snow fence will. So generally we plant rows of spruce or rows of cedar for living snow fence. Spruce tend to grow faster so that's generally what we plant. Um, either white spruce or nori spruce are our choice of trees. Um, sometimes we do blue spruce if there tends to be a lot of road salt, but the majority of the time it's white spruce or Norway spruce. So we asked the farmer what kind of equipment they use and what the size requirements are for the rows of trees that go in so that we make sure that they have enough room to get in and around the trees to continue working in the field like they have previously. With the, the tree line or living snow fence, I've seen the benefit of having a windbreak there as well and uh, so we went ahead about three years ago and at the, at the end we have about uh, 60 feet of distance to the, to the fence line so this gives me enough room to get through with the rest of the equipment. What, what I see last year there when I mean, we had these heavy rains there was water running down through the field and and it stopped, the, it stopped the, the soil right at the tree line there. So it was, it was really noticeable. There are so many benefits to planting living snow fences. It helps with roads. It also helps uh, provide wind protection for crops. You're driving this road, your family's driving this road. And uh, you know, if, if everybody um, planted this or allowed us to plant these trees, then we would make it safer for them as well as the other people using the road. Please plant trees, let us plant trees. Let's make these roads safer.